Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons where in today's video I'm gonna be showcasing this build that I've decided to call Dark Lightning and it's a pretty dang awesome build <laughs> so yeah um, we're using the nameless blade which I don't feel like gets enough attention it's actually a really good weapon of course the wither armor one of the most used uh, armors in the game uh, and the Winter's Touch, also one of the most used bows in the game. So I'm gonna be going over all of the enchantments and stuff, um, in here in my house. Um, so let's just get right started. Get right, st yeah, words. <laughs> and get right started, we shall. So, uh, here we then have a Nameless Blade as our melee weapon. With, um, Gilded Enchantment as Fire's Lightning Bolts, which first may seem like not such a good thing but it, it'll come later uh, as the enchantments we've got critical hit uh gives you a 20 percent uh, chance to inflict uh triple the damage swirling um at the end of the combo which the combo is only two attacks oh it, it doesn't show but the combo is only two attacks and then it deals this much damage uh, in a 360 degree area then we have radiance which will be able to proc a lot together with the um the thundering um also i'll get to that later and yeah this here is actually like it might look like a bad weapon but the armor and the artifacts actually kind of makes up for it so then let's move on to the armor which is a wither armor with power level 259 now this one here of course i got from a daily trial uh and at, as you probably already know wither armors are one of the best armors in the game with 35 percent damage reduction uh plus 50 percent soul together not that big of a deal and then also six percent lifesteal aura so that then you can uh, get life steal and damage reduction so it's actually really good and since it's high power level it basically just doubled the health because if i just go here uh for a normal power power level with the armor then uh plus uh 17 1 million 720,961 uh health that's totally didn't take me quite a lot of time to figure out how to do it um but then here it's then two million six hundred and fourteen thousand eight hundred and sixty four well i actually got that on the first try i'm kind of proud of that <laughs> um yeah you you just double the health of it it's actually really good so doubling the health so you're even more tanky and then for the enchantments so it's final shout um when your health drop below uh, 24%, all artifacts um, are used, ignoring cooldown periods. This is actually really, really good because, or you already probably know that Final Shout is a good enchantment. It's just, it's one of my favorite enchantments in the game. Like it's just so useful. Then we have cooldown. It uh, reduces the cooldown time between use of our, your artifacts by minus 38%. Like, it, it, some people, uh, like, some people more like to use the final shout as their cooldown, kind of. Just when they want their artifacts to be there, um, they can just on purpose get on low health. So that then they can have their artifacts be off cooldown, but... I don't really like that tactic like final shout it's a great enchantment it's just it's not great in that way <laughs> sort of and also when you do that tactic with a final shout like it's basically just at all times having the reckless enchantment on you except that you don't deal a whole bunch of damage so it's it's not really that good to be honest and you constantly gotta manage your health uh so some people like using that tactic but I just prefer cooldown, just one enchantment slot for always being able to use your iron hide and death cap. It's just so good. And then we have the enchantment that I feel like all of you could see coming. Lightning focus. So the lightning damage you deal is increased by plus 75%. So basically 
the lightning just becomes better. <laughs> um, so it deals a whole bunch more damage and that's basically what it does. And that's also really good with, of course, my Nameless Blade, which has Forest Lightning Bolts. But then I'll over to the ranged weapon, which is the Winter's Touch. Deals some damage, fires three arrows when charged, and freezes on impact. One of the best bows in the game can be used in so many different ways. So many builds. So awesome. One of the best bows in the game, if you ask me. This one isn't gilded or high power level, but of course, if you get it, um, if you want to get this build and you're willing to uh, grind for a gilded one, the one that you should hope for is the Burst Bowstring Enchantment. So, shoots nearby uh, mobs when you roll, uh, costing one arrow per roll, projectiles deal 40% of a charge shot's uh, damage. At tier 3, that's three targets. Um, and since it's charged, um, since it's... Um, uh, when it's a charged shot, it's three arrows. That's then nine arrows coming out since it's three targets. Each of those are um, uh, are three, so it's nine arrows coming out. And there's also another enchantment that we'll get onto later, which will boost this herb by like a bajillion, so that it's even more useful. And although this herb isn't a rolling build or has anything to do with rolling, burst ball string is just a really good enchantment o overall. Just for everything i guess or not everything but just for handiness you know but then on to the enchantments so we have then th temple theft <laughs> almost messed that up uh steals a small amount of a mob's movement speed and gives it to you for four seconds and that is 50 percent stolen speed which if you don't use temple theft on your builds i am officially not a fan of you because Temple Theft is one of the best enchantments in the whole entire game. Then it's the enchantment that boosts the um, the roll uh, thingy uh, by a lot, which is Shockwave. Up to three beams of lightning connect to the last few arrows charged, f few charged arrows fired, which deal lightning damage to enemies who touch a beam. And of course, that's even better since it's three arrows when charged. So then you don't have to shoot two charge shots at different locations and get a thingy in between that, although you can still do that, you can just shoot it and it'll just be a line of lightning. Now, this lightning doesn't deal almost any damage. Like, it doesn't show here, but it doesn't really deal that much damage. Only, like, I think only 30,000, which might sound like a lot, but it's nothing. So it is possible to kill a mob with it. It's just like you need to be like, yeah, I'm gonna kill this mob with my shock web just to make fun of it, kind of. And then onto the third one, which is gravity. This effect pulls in a, pulls mob uh, in range towards the weapon's impact point with a two second duration. Gravity is just a good enchantment, you know. And then uh, also with the shock web. It can then be, like, then you can drag it towards the electricity. Now, again, electricity doesn't deal that much damage with the shockweb, so, yeah, but it's still just gravity. Just, I love it. And then onto the artifacts. So we have Deathcap Mushroom, Arnide Amulet, and Lightning Rod. Now, the Lightning Rod, you probably expected, right? And... Also, Dark Knight, you probably expected all of these, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, Lightning Rod just, it's so useful. You can just go, say if uh, my fox here was like, a, no, save this arm. So I, would, I don't want to hurt an Arctic fox. Arctic foxes are the best animals ever. And I just want to have one as a pet. And just IRL. Like, yeah. Uh, anyways. <laughs> um, so, say if uh, this armor stand was an enemy then i or a strong enemy because if not i could just go like this and just do yeet and then yeah but if it's a strong enemy i can just go pow and just evaporate him out of existence it's basically just if there's any enchanted strong mobs you can just get rid of them you can just thanos snap them out of existence thank you very much and also of course with the cooldown 
and the death cap mushroom and the iron hide amulet i can be constantly protected 24 7 and i can also do this 24 7 like or now, now the lightning strikes come in out like wait where's the uh, lightning strike there they are and then here is then also the lightning rod so let's just boom and 11 million damage yeah that's quite a lot and then also yeah 30k it's not much you can do this though and make the damage stack up so that is a thing that you can do to get a lot of damage also by the way just th this is why you need uh this is why you need uh the um uh the tempo theft uh but yeah you can make it stack up lightning is still going wow you can make it stack up but nah <laughs> so let's choose a map to test it on actually what about on the island realms yeah sure why not let's just go with high, high black holes let's just activate our artifacts and let's cut down some guards yeah we just kill them so fast like i don't know if it's fast no it's probably not faster than the fighter's bindings but on this channel we don't like fighter's bindings like because it, it, they're just used in every single build and just so you know, I probably won't take Fighter's Bindings in any of my builds because they're used in almost every single other build. So, just so you know, like, that's the reason that I don't use Fighter's Bindings. Um, although there is weapons that are stronger with the Fighter's Bindings now with the um, with the addition of Void Strike. But I, I, I won't do that now. No, oh, no, they took a little bit away of my health. Well, you can just die in a corner, dude. Oh, man. I just assassinated that filter. Can we get that in slow-mo? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> just assassinating him. Oh, no, a whole bunch of enchanted enemies. What am I possibly gonna do here? Well, I'm just gonna call in Thor. Yeah. Yeah. That that was that was sort of easy to be honest. And here is then the well, if we just uh, steal some speed real quick. Yeah, here's the well. We often find a mini boss and yeah, some raid captains too. Oh, that thing, that's sort of rare. Ish. Uh, I don't normally see a redstone golem here. Uh, so let's just lightning strike him. Ooh, give me that, give me that, give me that before it explodes. Thanks. And then let's just kill you. And then, ah, oh, no, 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 don't die. I don't like fire and magic fire. But guys, that will have to wrap things up for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, to subscribe, and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you another time. Goodbye.